Communicating between VLANs helps to reduce port cost domain and increase device security. We'll explore inter-VLAN communication on this edition of Tech Talks, next. We'll start by logging into the web configuration identity, then find VLAN settings under the VLAN management tab in the menu on the left side. Here, we will need two different VLANs. VLAN one is created by default, so we'll click add to create the second. Next, we'll assign ports to each of the VLANs. All the ports are on VLAN one by default. For this example, I'll assign port number two on VLAN two. As we can see, Port number two is an access port that is now assigned to VLAN two. Now we can navigate to IPv4 interface under IP configuration in the left-hand menu. Here, we can configure the IP addresses of our two VLANs. First, make sure to check the box next to IPv4 routing at the top of the page. Below, we can see that VLAN one has already been assigned to an IP address by default. So, we'll click Add to add an IP interface to VLAN 2. Select 2 from the VLAN drop-down menu, change the IP address type to static IP address, and set the VLAN 2 IP address as 192.168.2.1. We'll set prefix length to 24, then click Apply. As you can see, both ports are up and running. The IP address of my PC, which belongs to VLAN 1, is 192.168.1.10, and the other PC, which belongs to VLAN 2, has an IP address of 192.168.2.10. Both IP addresses should be able to ping from the switch. We can ping each address by heading to Ping under the Administration tab in the menu. Here, we can enter each IP address to see the ping counters and status, if the status at the bottom of the page is success, then the ping has succeeded and your inter-VLAN connection is confirmed. And with that, your inter-VLAN communication should be up and running. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.